M. Night Shyamalan's latest movie, Knock at the Cabin, is out, and here is my non-spoiler review. First off, it is based off of a book, and if you've read the book, while the premise remains the same, it very much deviates in its execution. So even if you've read the book, you won't particularly see where this thing is headed. And overall, the premise um, is what drew me in, right? That The premise is highlighted in the trailer. It's this family that's on vacation in the, in the woods, and four people led by Dave Batista come, and they essentially tell them that you have to make a sacrifice of one of you, or else the apocalypse will happen. And it's a very much, is this true, is it not true type of a story, right? And therein lies the suspense, right? So if you're thinking it's a horror film, it's not. It's a lot more suspenseful. The problem is that it thinks the suspense lies in extending various moments as opposed to kind of keeping things going. Um, so for me, it drags at times. Now, to make up for this, it cuts away to flashbacks of the family, which I don't think ultimately add anything to the movie itself, to be honest, right? I want to very much stay in the, the present moment of what is happening. But there's not enough there to sustain it. Um, so therefore, they kind of try to build out the bigger backstory. Uh, my biggest problem with this movie is that the climax is very anticlimactic. I mean, I understand it from a you know theoretical standpoint, but one of my biggest issues is that it just kind of happens. Um, we don't even really see it. It, it just cuts away, and we, we we know what happens ultimately, but the the tonal shift and the, and the mental shift that it took to get there, we don't fully fully see. We don't spend time in that moment, which is ironic because so much of the other time you spend way too long in scenes. Um, so. You know, I think a great premise, but overall, just a little bit botched, certainly by the end. Um, and rather than like diving deeper into various things, um, it just plays on on more of a surface level for me. Um, but I think it's interesting enough. I think it's mid tier. It's you know, overall, and my Shyamalan had other writers there uh, with him. So I think that elevated it right off the bat, unlike old, which was just, to me, ridiculous from start to finish. This, at least, you know, um, as I said, I think it, while it didn't resonate for me, I think it could resonate with other people. Um, so at least there's that, whereas old, I knew just would just bomb for everybody, right? But let me know what you think, you know. Are you curious to see it? Did you see it? All that good stuff.